What's it called? So oh, Curiosity piqued by the fates of Eatery's post, Kitchen Nightmares. Join us on a revealing journey into the lives of 15 restaurants after Gordon Ramsay's intervention. From fiery meltdowns to inspiring comebacks, this tale is a roller coaster of culinary redemption and despair. It took everything in me not to just freak out. Buckle up for a fascinating ride. Number one, Amy's Baking Company, Scottsdale, Arizona, USA. The dramatic saga and its aftermath. Amy's Baking Company, nestled in the heart of Scottsdale, Arizona, became the epitome of kitchen nightmares infamy. Owners Amy and Sammy Buzaglo's combative stance against Ramsey's critiques marked a series first. Ramsey walked away, deeming the situation irredeemable. The episode spiraled into a social media frenzy, with the owners clashing with critics and defending their approach online. The spectacle was unlike anything viewers had seen, turning the episode into a viral sensation. Despite the attention, the restaurant closed its doors in September 2015. The Buzaglos attempted to capitalize on their notoriety through merchandise and public appearances, but the allure of Amy's Baking Company eventually faded. The closure symbolized more than the end of a restaurant. It was a stark reminder of the challenges in accepting change and criticism within the volatile world of gastronomy. Number 2. Oceana Grill, New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. How they turned criticism into success. In the vibrant city of New Orleans, Oceana Grill stood as a testament to transformation. Critiqued for its hygiene practices and lackluster cuisine, the establishment faced a pivotal moment under Ramsey's guidance. The intervention sparked significant changes, with the restaurant overhauling its menu and improving cleanliness standards. Contrary to many establishments featured on Kitchen Nightmares, Oceana Grill emerged victorious from its trials. Today, it basks in the glow of positive reviews and a rejuvenated reputation. This journey from criticism to success showcases the power of resilience and adaptability. Oceana Grill's ability to embrace Ramsey's feedback and implement it effectively turned their story into one of the series' most encouraging tales of redemption. The restaurant continues to welcome diners, serving as a beacon of hope for struggling establishments everywhere. Number 3. The Black Pearl, New York City, New York, USA. A swift closure post Ramsey. In the bustling streets of New York City, the Black Pearl hoped to carve out its niche as a go-to seafood destination. However, internal conflicts, identity confusion, and a disconnect between the owners and the market realities quickly ensnared the restaurant in a web of challenges. Enter Gordon Ramsay, whose intervention was met with the usual mix of skepticism and hope. Despite Ramsay's efforts to refine the restaurant's focus and mend fractured relationships among the owners, the Black Pearl's voyage was short-lived. The restaurant's closure shortly after Ramsay's visit was a poignant reminder of the brutal competitiveness of New York's culinary scene. The Black Pearl's struggle to maintain a cohesive identity in a city teeming with dining options highlighted a critical lesson. Adaptability and clear branding are paramount. This tale also underscores the significance of internal harmony and shared vision among business partners. In the aftermath, the Black Pearl became a cautionary tale of potential unfulfilled a narrative all too common in the relentless world of restaurant business. Its swift closure post Ramsey's intervention serves as a stark example of how deep-rooted issues and a lack of unified direction can lead to a restaurant's downfall, even in the presence of expert advice. Number 4. Mama Cherry Soul Food Shack, Brighton, UK. From viral success to unfortunate closure. Mama Cherry's Soul Food Shack, nestled in the seaside town of Brighton, UK, was a beacon of heartwarming, authentic soul food. Charita Jones, the spirited owner, captured Ramsay's heart with her passion and flavorful dishes, leading to an episode filled with praise rather than the usual critique. The Ramsay seal of approval catapulted the restaurant to viral fame, with customers flocking in droves to experience the buzz firsthand. Despite the initial surge in business and a cookbook deal that followed, the fairy tale was not to last. Financial missteps, coupled with the challenges of managing an unexpectedly rapid expansion, led to Mama Cherry's downfall. The restaurant's closure was a bittersweet end to a story that had shown so much promise. Charita Jones's journey didn't end with the restaurant's closure, however. She continues to be a vibrant part of the culinary scene, sharing her passion through pop-up events and cooking demonstrations. 
Mama Cherry's Soul Food Shack's story is a nuanced narrative of the complexities behind viral success in the restaurant industry. It highlights the importance of financial prudence, the challenges of scaling a business, and the unpredictable nature of fame. While the restaurant's doors may have closed, the legacy of Mama Cherry's and Charita Jones's infectious enthusiasm for soul food lives on, reminding us of the resilience and enduring spirit of those who pour their hearts into their culinary dreams. Number 5. The Walnut Tree Inn, Abergavenny, Wales, UK Struggles and Resurgence of a Michelin-Starred Restaurant The Walnut Tree Inn, once a beacon of Michelin-starred excellence in Abergavenny, Wales, found itself in troubled waters. Challenges began to mount as the restaurant struggled to maintain its lofty standards amidst financial difficulties and changing leadership. The arrival of Gordon Ramsay was seen as a beacon of hope, a chance to realign with the principles of culinary excellence that had once defined the walnut tree. Ramsay's intervention highlighted the critical issues plaguing the establishment, inconsistency in the kitchen, and a detachment from the restaurant's rich heritage. His guidance was a call to return to basics, focusing on the quality and consistency that had earned the restaurant its Michelin star. The journey was fraught with difficulties, but that staff's dedication and a recommitment to culinary excellence began to turn the tide. In the years that followed, the Walnut Tree Inn embarked on a path of resurgence. While the road to recovery was long, the restaurant managed to reclaim some of its former glory, becoming a testament to the resilience within the culinary industry. It serves as a poignant reminder that excellence in the restaurant business is a continuous pursuit, demanding constant evolution and a steadfast commitment to quality. Today, the Walnut Tree stands proud, a symbol of both struggle and triumph. It continues to attract diners with its refined offerings, maintaining a balance between innovation and tradition. This story of resurgence serves as an inspiration, proving that even the most esteemed establishments must face their trials with courage and an unwavering resolve to emerge stronger. Number 6. La Bistro, Lighthouse Point, Florida, USA Implementing Ramsey's Suggestions for Success Nestled in the heart of Lighthouse Point, Florida, La Bistro was a restaurant with potential that was not being fully realized. The establishment, run by the passionate yet stubborn chef owner Andy Trousdale, faced challenges with menu complexity and customer satisfaction. Gordon Ramsay's arrival promised a new direction, focusing on simplifying the menu, enhancing the dining experience, and reviving the passion that initially sparked the creation of Le Bistro. Ramsay's recommendations were met with resistance but eventually embraced, leading to a transformation of both the menu and the ambiance of the restaurant. The revised menu focused on high-quality, French-inspired dishes that were both accessible and exquisite, catering to the tastes of the local clientele. This shift, coupled with improvements in service quality, began to attract a broader audience, steadily improving the restaurant's reputation and financial health. The success of Le Bistro post Ramsay's intervention is a story of adaptation and resilience. The willingness of Chef Trousdale to implement Ramsay's suggestions, despite initial hesitations, showcased a commitment to excellence and an understanding that change, while difficult, is often necessary for growth. Le Bistro's journey from a struggling establishment to a beloved local gem highlights the importance of openness to feedback, the courage to reinvent oneself, and the enduring value of quality and simplicity in the culinary world. Today, Le Bistro thrives, a testament to the power of transformation. It stands as a beacon for other struggling restaurants proving that success is attainable with the right blend of passion, adaptability, and adherence to the fundamentals of great dining. Number 7. Capri, Eagle Rock, California, USA The heartwarming revival of a failing restaurant Capri, a quaint Italian eatery nestled in the heart of Eagle Rock, California, was once a place where potential went unnoticed. Run by twin brothers Jim and Jeff Thiel, the restaurant suffered from a lack of passion and direction. The decor was outdated, and the food, though made with love, failed to attract a steady clientele. Enter Gordon Ramsay, whose arrival marked the beginning of a heartwarming transformation story that would breathe new life into Capri. Ramsay's intervention was a wake-up call for the Thiel brothers. His straightforward feedback and actionable advice ignited a spark that had been missing. The renovation of the restaurant's interior brought a modern yet cozy ambiance, making guests feel at home. The menu underwent a significant transformation, 
focusing on simple, authentic Italian cuisine that highlighted the quality of ingredients and the love put into each dish. The revitalization of Capri wasn't just about physical changes. It was a journey of rediscovery for Jim and Jeff. Ramsey's guidance helped them to find their passion for the restaurant business once again. They began to take pride in their establishment, engaging with customers and becoming active participants in the success of their restaurant. The heartwarming revival of Capri is a testament to the power of resilience and the impact of constructive criticism. Today, Capri stands as a beloved landmark in Eagle Rock, serving up hearty Italian dishes to locals and visitors alike. The story of the Thiel brothers and Capri serves as an inspiring reminder that it's never too late to turn things around, and that sometimes all it takes is a nudge in the right direction to uncover true potential. Number 8. The Fenwick Arms, Lancashire, UK simplifying the complex for partial success. In the picturesque countryside of Lancashire, UK, stood the Fenwick Arms, a traditional British pub bogged down by an overly complicated menu, and an owner, Brian, obsessed with culinary gimmicks. The pub's identity was lost amidst fancy cooking techniques, and a menu that tried too hard to impress, neglecting the essence of what made British pub fair beloved by many. Gordon Ramsay's challenge was to strip back the unnecessary and return the Fenwick arms to its roots. Ramsay's approach was straightforward, simplify. He advocated for a menu that celebrated traditional British dishes, focusing on quality and comfort over complexity and pretense. The Real Gravy campaign was a symbol of this shift, emphasizing the importance of authentic flavors and ingredients. This back-to-basics approach was met with resistance, but eventually embraced leading to a rejuvenation of the Fenwick Arms menu and a renewed focus on what mattered most, satisfying, hearty meals. The transformation of the Fenwick Arms highlighted the importance of understanding one's audience and the value of simplicity in an industry often tempted by the latest trends. While the pub saw an initial surge in popularity and acclaim following Ramsey's intervention, the journey to sustained success was more challenging. Eventually, Brian decided to sell the Fenwick Arms but the legacy of Ramsey's visit remained. The new owners retained a focus on simple, quality pub fare, maintaining a nod to Ramsey's influence. The story of the Fenwick Arms serves as a reminder that sometimes, success in the culinary world doesn't require complexity, but a commitment to quality and authenticity. The partial success of the Fenwick Arms post Ramsey's intervention underscores the ongoing challenge of adapting to change and the importance of aligning a restaurant's offerings with the expectations and preferences of its clientele. Number nine, Sebastian's, Toluca Lake, California, USA. The challenges of an identity crisis. Sebastian's, located in the cozy neighborhood of Toluca Lake, California, was a restaurant caught in the throes of an identity crisis, striving to marry the concepts of a pizzeria with fine dining. Sebastian struggled to find its footing in a market that values authenticity and clear branding. The owner, Sebastian, was determined but misguided, his ambitious vision clouding the restaurant's potential for success. Gordon Ramsay's arrival shed light on the confusion that plagued Sebastian's. The complex menu, attempting to offer something for everyone, instead left patrons bewildered and unsatisfied. Ramsay's advice was clear, simplify the concept, and focus on quality over quantity. Despite initial resistance, the need for a coherent identity became apparent. The rebranding efforts focused on refining the menu to showcase high-quality gourmet pizzas and a selection of complimentary dishes. Ramsey emphasized the importance of a unique selling proposition that could distinguish Sebastian's in a competitive dining landscape. However, the challenge of overcoming an entrenched identity crisis proved to be a daunting task. Post Ramsey, Sebastian's made strides towards a more focused brand, but the damage was too deep, leading to its eventual closure. This story highlights the critical importance of a clear, coherent restaurant concept that resonates with the target audience. Sebastian's serves as a cautionary tale for restaurateurs about the perils of an identity crisis and the difficulty of rebranding in a market that demands authenticity and clarity. Number 10, Pantaleones, Denver, Colorado, USA a story of revitalization and success. In Denver, Colorado, Pantaleon stood as a testament to the transformative power of change. Owned by Pete and Paulette Fafalios, the restaurant boasted the best pizza in Denver, but was stuck in a time warp with outdated decor and an old-fashioned approach to pizza making. The intervention of Gordon. 
Ramsey was the catalyst for a remarkable turnaround that would see Pantaleone's revitalized in both spirit and substance. Ramsey's first step was to modernize the restaurant's ambiance, creating a welcoming space that appealed to both new and loyal customers. The outdated decor was replaced with a fresh contemporary design that paid homage to the restaurant's long-standing history while signaling a new era. However, the most significant transformation occurred in the kitchen, where Ramsey introduced modern techniques and recipes to elevate the pizza and Italian dishes to new culinary heights. The menu overhaul was accompanied by a reinvigorated approach to service and marketing, breathing new life into Pantaleone's. The Fafalios family embraced these changes with open arms, rekindling their passion for the restaurant industry and rediscovering the joy of serving their community. The revitalization of Pantaleones is a heartening story of resilience, passion, and success. It demonstrates the impact of embracing change, the importance of adapting to contemporary tastes, and the enduring value of family and tradition in the restaurant business. Today, Pantaleones enjoys renewed popularity, with customers old and new flocking to experience the revitalized menu and ambiance. This story of success serves as an inspiration to struggling restaurants everywhere, proving that with the right guidance and a willingness to evolve, it's possible to turn the tide and thrive in the competitive world of hospitality. Number 11, Mill Street Bistro, Norwalk, Ohio, USA. Intense clashes and a bittersweet ending. Mill Street Bistro, located in the quiet town of Norwalk, Ohio, became the stage for one of the most intense confrontations in Kitchen Nightmares history. Owned by Joe Nagy, the bistro prided itself on serving fine dining cuisine in a casual atmosphere. However, Ramsey uncovered a reality far removed from the owner's claims, including questionable quality of food and a lack of authentic fine dining experience. The ensuing clashes between Ramsey and Nagy were marked by stubbornness and resistance to change encapsulating the struggle many restaurant owners face when confronted with hard truths about their businesses. Despite Ramsey's efforts to refine the menu and improve service standards, the relationship between the celebrity chef and the bistro owner remained fraught. The changes implemented during the show provided a temporary uplift in business, but the deep-seated issues proved too challenging to overcome in the long run. Mill Street Bistro eventually rebranded and later closed, marking a bittersweet end to a venture that had once promised so much. This story serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities of change management and the importance of openness to constructive criticism in the restaurant industry. Number 12, Mangia, Mangia, Woodland Park, Colorado, USA. Struggles with authenticity and closure. Mangia, Mangia, nestled in the scenic town of Woodland Park, Colorado, embarked on a kitchen nightmares journey, marked by struggles with authenticity. The Italian restaurant, led by an owner unfamiliar with the cuisine's roots, faced challenges in delivering genuine Italian dishes to its patrons. Ramsey's visit brought these issues to the forefront, emphasizing the importance of authenticity in a restaurant's identity. The makeover efforts focused on enhancing the menu's authenticity and improving operational efficiency. Despite these changes, Manja Manja found it difficult to shake off its initial reputation. The restaurant's struggle to align with Ramsey's vision of genuine Italian dining highlighted a broader issue faced by many establishments, the challenge of redefining oneself in the eyes of a skeptical public. Ultimately, Mangia Mangia's journey ended in closure, a somber result to a story of unrealized potential. This case underscores the critical role authenticity plays in the culinary world and the uphill battle restaurants face when their foundation is questioned. Mangia Mangia's story is a cautionary tale about the importance of staying true to one's culinary roots and the difficulties of navigating change in a competitive industry. Number 13. Luigi's D'Italia, Anaheim, California, USA. Family Dynamics and Menu Confusion Resolved. Luigi's D'Italia in Anaheim, California is a tale of transformation where familial discord and culinary confusion found resolution. The restaurant, run by the Di Pietro family, was struggling under the weight of internal strife and a menu that tried to be all things to all people. Gordon Ramsay stepped into a situation where the challenge was not only to streamline the restaurant's offerings, but also to mend the fractured relationships within the family. Under Ramsay's guidance, Luigi's D'Italia underwent a significant overhaul. The menu was simplified, focusing on the authentic Italian dishes that could showcase the family's culinary heritage. More importantly, Ramsey addressed the underlying family tensions, fostering communication and a sense of unity that had been missing. 
the intervention led to a revitalized Luigi's d'Italia with improved dynamics among the family members and a clear culinary direction that resonated with patrons. This story stands as a testament to the idea that a restaurant is not just about food, it's about the people behind it. Today, Luigi's d'Italia thrives, a beacon of authentic Italian cuisine and familial harmony, proving that even the most tangled situations can be untwined with care and expertise. Number 14. Zena Flaming Grill, Redondo Beach, California, USA. Overcoming Family Conflict for a Positive Turnaround. Zena Flaming Grill in Redondo Beach, California, faced more than just the typical challenges of running a restaurant. It was beset by family conflict that threatened its very foundation. The Mediterranean Eatery, operated by Faye and her niece Brenda, was caught in a cycle of disagreement and miscommunication that hampered its potential. Enter Gordon Ramsay, whose intervention would go beyond the kitchen to the heart of the familial discord. Ramsay's approach was multifaceted, refining the menu to better highlight the restaurant's Mediterranean roots while simultaneously working to mend the rift within the family. Through a series of frank discussions and team-building efforts, Ramsey helped Faye and Brenda see the value in collaboration and mutual respect. The turnaround at Zena Flaming Grill was remarkable, with a renewed focus on authentic Mediterranean cuisine and a harmonious working environment the restaurant began to flourish. The story of Zena Flaming Grill is a powerful reminder of the strength found in unity and the positive impact of resolving personal differences for the sake of a shared goal. Today, the restaurant enjoys success, buoyed by a family that has learned the importance of working together towards a common vision. Number 15. Spin a Yarn Steakhouse, Fremont, California, USA. Revitalizing a restaurant and a marriage. Spin a Yarn Steakhouse in Fremont, California presented a unique challenge for Gordon Ramsay. Reviving not just a restaurant, but the marriage of its owners, Saki and Jennifer. The establishment was suffering from outdated decor, a lackluster menu, and most critically, the strain on Saki and Jennifer's relationship, which had begun to reflect in the day-to-day -day operations of the restaurant. Ramsey's intervention was holistic, addressing both the physical aspects of the restaurant and the personal issues between the owners. The steakhouse underwent a dramatic redesign, transforming it into a modern and inviting space. The menu received a similar overhaul, with Ramsay introducing contemporary dishes that retained the essence of the steakhouse tradition. However, the most significant change was in Saki and Jennifer's relationship. Ramsay facilitated open and honest communication between the couple, helping them to reconnect and remember why they entered the restaurant business together. This renewed partnership became the cornerstone of Spin a Yarn Steakhouse's revival. Today, Spin a Yarn Steakhouse stands as a testament to the power of change, both professionally and personally. The restaurant's success is not just measured in its improved aesthetics and menu, but in the restored bond between its owners. Saki and Jennifer's story is a poignant reminder that the heart of a restaurant lies in the people who run it, and their passion is the key ingredient to success.